hi there once again welcome to my channel consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial in today's lesson we're going to learn how we can easily create a printable notebook page using just microsoft word so this is what we're going to do at the end of the day we're going to set up our margin and then also provide a place for dates and then time so we're going to set up this using just microsoft word remember to like share and also subscribe if you are new and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video so this is what we're going to do and then without much i do let's jump right into action so we're going to start everything from scratch so i'm going to use a blank new page so this is a page we're going to use and the first thing we need to do is to set up our page so i'll go to page layout and make sure i set up the page i'm going to use a4 size so select a4 and then we'll go to the orientation let's just leave it as portrait the next thing we're going to do is to make sure that our margin is set to custom margin because i'm going to do some settings let's just provide the top and the bottom zero so zero and then zero for the bottom and just click on ok click on ignore and then what that is all so we're going to now start drawing our table and in order to do that let's go to insert go to table and then go to draw just draw on top of your screen this way and just use your pen so you're going to have access to your pen you're going to have on top of your ribbon you have a lot of customization and we are drawing our table so just use your pen drag across this way in order to draw your own table okay just drag it across and then you are good to go so if you realize that there's any issue you want to add extra lines you can go ahead and do that so you can see everything has been formatted and we're now going to create our borders so i'm just going to drag another line over here in order to get my column over here just to create a column as you can see if you look at the final work over here we have this column red and then the, the other red over here so we're going to do exactly that so we have actually set up that the next thing you need to do is to actually increase this bolding this and then also bolding this in order to get our red border as you can see from the top over here so we have to do some settings to our pen let's first go back to our design that's a table design go to table design and then from the line width let's set this to three and then let's change the color to red so the pen color we're going to change it towards red and then let's trace this line you're going to trace this line so that's going to be red tracing this line you go ahead and then trace this one as well okay so we're going to have something similar to our final project over here and then we can go ahead and just you can just press escape in order to deselect your pen and then you can go ahead and then hold the edges just the table hold and then just drag it. let's drag it over here like this we can just move this inside a bit So I'll move this inside. That's a table. Just drag the table. Make sure you hold the table and drag it inside. I'm just really going to do that. Drag it. Just let it go beyond. And then also drag this side as well. Let it go beyond. There's nothing wrong with that. And the top. So let's drag the top as well. And then that is all. Just go ahead and then put your cursor at the top and let's provide a space by hitting the enter key on the keyboard and it's going to provide enough space for us so in order to get the rest of our lines just keep on pressing the tab key on your keyboard and it's going to provide these amazing lines for you that is very simple remember to like share and then also subscribe to this channel so just keep on pressing your tab key and it's going to provide the rest of the lines for you as you can see i think that is okay and our table and our lines are set now we actually need to provide the space now for the dates and then the time. So in order to do that, we're going to use, we're going to go back to insert and create what a text box. So let's go to text box. Let's draw a text box. Don't worry about that. So we're going to have our text box here. And then we're going to say table. And let's use the dash key on our keyboard. Just hold down. Just keep on pressing. We are not going to use a, well, there's a difference between the hyphen and then the dash so press on shift and then keep on pressing the dash key to create this space and then use the
And then you can use any line at all just to divide this. So I'm going to provide something like this. Keep on pressing my dash key. Like you just draw anything just for your date. So that is what we're going to do. And then once we are done, let's resize this. And then let's position this a bit at the top. Just copy. Control C to copy and then just come outside and then what? Paste it once again. So the first one, what we need to do is that we're actually not going to have a border. So with your text box selected, go to the shape format and then under outline, just change that, change it to what? No outline. So we don't want any outline against this. So you can see we don't have any outline. So we're going to change this to date. Okay. So this is the date. We're going to change this to time. Change this to time. And we don't actually need this line this way. So we just need a straight line for our time. So just press the line this way and then we we can move it back to position it right here. We don't need a border as well. So let's go back to the shape outline and then go to no outline. So we are good to go. Let's add one more underscore and then we'll go back to we'll go back to our shapes. We'll go back to our shapes and then go to our, we'll go back to instead select shapes and then just draw a shape around this that's a rectangle and we'll go back to the shape format and then under fill color we're going to set it to no fill color and then the and we're going to rather set we're going to set our shape outline to red and it's actually going to give us something like this and then finally we'll change the right tab the date and everything to red so let's go back to home and then under font let's change it to red we'll do the same thing for the second one as well where we have the time change everything to red and that is all we need in this tutorial remember to like share and also subscribe because i'm going to show you amazing techniques i'm also going to show you how to use where to generate receipt and other amazing stuff in order not to miss that remember to like share subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell till i come your way again bye bye